Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 7. Okay, we've got the uh, locket here. And let's talk to uh, Laplem. Well, let's go ahead and give you the amulet. To have returned with amulet? He grins widely as you return the jewelry to him. To thank you, human. To be an example for your race. Alright, yep, that is me. Goodbye. To hope to see you again. Alrighty, now, um... Let's have a little bit of fun, I think. Um, you know what? I was going to uh, swap around some uh, equipment. I think Spark would be a better choice for... Uh, fire sword. He's got more hit points and more strength. There we go. Alright. Let's actually uh, make a quick save, because I've actually done this a couple times already, <laughs> Uh, video keeps screwing up. Or, the game keeps screwing up, I should say. Is this what I want? Is this... This is not what I want. What's after me? Hello! Alright. Hi, snake. Bye, snake. There we go. This is what I want. Guys, can we take care of the lich, please? There we go. And this time, no one died. We've got a great dagger here. Uh, let's go ahead and give that to someone. There is a body here, and there's a body here, the Lich has nothing on it. So, the first time I, I came here, um, I had someone die. Well, I think I had two people die. Um, Iolo was one, and um, so I had uh, Janna resurrect. And this body morphed into Iolo, and his pathing was screwed up and stuff like that. So, I had to reload. Well, I've taken care of a, uh, a Lich. That's... That's good. We've done good work. Uh, how are we doing on hit points? I am actually rather low. I think everyone else is fine. Alright, we'll kill you. Seriously, guys? Why do you want to be in front? <laughs> there we go. Hello, Scorpion. Go ahead and kill you. Now there is... Oh. Huh. Interesting. Alright, you can live. So there's uh, some mountains up here. Um, I think I've gone too far north. That seems likely. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. That is some weird stuff going on. Alright, there's a cave. I don't think I've been in here. Let's go ahead and kill those bats. How we doing? Oh yeah, I've gone up to level 7 and I have uh, some training points that I can't use anymore. Um, Dupre could use some healing, I suppose. Go ahead and do that. Alright, let me get onto the appropriate map. I don't know how much is actually in here. Um, looks like we primarily want to head north 
uh, in this case. Don't believe there is anything uh, story related in here, so this is just stuff. Hey, illusionary wall. That's nice. And that's empty. Nothing there. Great. Lovely. Thanks, game. Well, <laughs> or oh, come on. Or, or Avatar. Jeez. <laughs> How the heck do they do so much damage that they that someone actually died to that? All right. Let's go ahead and unequip you. Heal, please. Yes. Resurrect. Alright, goodbye. There we go. Alright, Sentry, please don't die again. I would appreciate that. There you go. And there you go. Let's go ahead and grab this food. And let's see if we can unlock all of these chests. That's one. Two. Three. And four. There we go. Ooh. Not bad. Alright, that's crap. A little bit of money. Stone chips and a lightning whip. Another one that I'm probably never really going to use. Alright, well, Jonna, uh, let's go ahead and give these things to you. Should probably check to see if anyone needs some healing. Might as well, since I've got the. Uh, since I've got these now. Um, yeah, everyone looks pretty good. Oh, and I need to uh, unlock that door. Let's go ahead and do that. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, great. Caltrops there. Nothing on that skeleton. There's a... Ooh. Oh. Um. If someone wisely locked up the, uh, um... The drake. Let's see. That should be fourth circle. Ah. Second comment. God! Oh, great. <laughs> Jana, why did you go and die on me? All right, well, let's go put your corpse in my uh, crate. There's nothing there. Take this money, though. We'll take this magic armor. Sixty-two gold coins and seven gold coins. Stack those up together. And let's go ahead and put that ring in there. All right. Well, um, did we look at this corpse? We did. Is there? Oh, an acid slug. Seems like there's something right here. Aha! Oh, nothing there. Alright, let's see. Hit points wise, is anyone seriously injured? Dupre is. Well. I suppose we can get back here quickly enough.
All right, British, I'm going to need your help. I'm going to have to have you wake up. <sighs> Poor Jana, her intestines are even spilling out. <sighs> All right, awaken. Oh, Lord British, I need you. Thank you. Heal, please. Yes, I need that. Resurrection, please. Goodbye. Thank you, Jonna. I am I'm glad you're okay now. Alright, let's go ahead and give you your stuff back. And in fact, let's go ahead and give you the magic armor. There we go. And you know what? I'm gonna leave that for Lord British. That's his. That can be his payment. Not quite healed up. Hello's fine. Spark, you need a hit point. There you go. Uh, Shimino needs a little bit. There we go. Uh, didn't I heal you, Dupre? Oh, no, that's right. I was just going to teleport back here and, and do it here. That's right. Rather than waste the reagent. So I have to come back here anyway. Sentry and Julia are okay. All right. All right, let's just get back to where we were. Somewhere over here. There's our friendly uh, scorpion there. All right. Um, I guess we can head this way. Uh, kidney belt. Don't care about the kidney belt. Looks like there's something else here. Oh. A buckler and a main gosh. Okay. Don't much care about those. Oh my. This is, uh... This looks like quite the battle. That guy has some interesting stuff. That does not. That does not. That does not. Number of naked corpses here is uh, rather interesting. Twelve bolts. Also, the age of some of these is uh, rather impressive. That's that one. Okay. Uh, that guy doesn't have anything interesting. That guy doesn't have anything interesting. Uh, that guy does. All right. So we've got a few interesting items. So let's see. We've got some uh, antique armor and some plate armor. Uh, you've got antique armor. I'm not sure which is actually better. But you could probably... Swap this stuff off. Don't think we need uh, a great helm. Don't need the antique armor. I'll go ahead and take those 25 coins. Alright, uh, was there anything over here? There was one more arrow over here. Looks like it's about it. gonna work? Yeah, good. They're not crappy uh, uh, bolts and arrows. Alright, four magic arrows. I'll take those. And... Oh. Eh, I'll just leave it. It's just one. Whatever. Let's see. Is there a secret passage here? 
Feels like there should be, because there is something to the south. Hmm. There is a room to the south, but I don't seem to be able to get in there. Maybe it's down here. No? Hmm. Well. When in doubt... Uh, let's see... What is the option? Modify NPC... Zero... Uh, let's see, NPC status? Where is Ethereal? That would be N. Alright, I've saved it. Whee! That's what I wanted. Well, let's put out these bolts so that I can, uh, play around with that. See anything on the corpse? Nope. Nothing down there. It's just garbage. That's great. There is a scroll here. I've been here for more days than I am able to remember, though I have not forgotten the day I entered this forsaken cave, which has become my tomb. That was 229-0227. But my food ran out long ago, and the rats are more interested in eating me than letting me eat them. My strength is gone, as is my will. If thou dost find this, please tell Mithra I love her. Danielle. Hmm. I think there might be a uh, teleportation thing that gets you in here. I'm not sure if there's any actual way out, to be honest. Doesn't matter. Because I have the power of... That. All right, people, come around. Get around me. There we go. Actually, you know what? I wonder. Enchant. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, modify NPC. Zero. NPC status. Ethereal. Ah, good times. All right, a couple bats. Let's go ahead and kill them. And this leads out to the other side. Not much else to do here, so uh, let's head back to uh, Vesper and get our magic carpet. I think I'm done fighting you, uh, Scorpions, for now. Maybe later, maybe later. deal with you all later. Alright, where am I? <laughs> Alright, I guess I gotta... Alright, let's take a look at the map. Where exactly are we? Alright, good. We are uh, roughly where I thought we were. A little bit too far to the uh, east. And my magic carpet... Oh, wait, no. I need to go talk to someone. Be the mayor. You'll get food later. How may I help thee, lady? Uh, Elizabeth and Abraham. They're fellowship members. They were just here to see about starting a branch in Vesper. I imagine we will allow it. I believe the couple have gone to Moonglow. They said they were on their way there to conduct a training session for the branch, branch leader there. But I do know that they were going to stop at the Britannian Mining Company branch on the way out of town. I do not know why. Hmm. Um, let's see if, uh, you eat when I say we eat. Alright, they're not there. It's probably a bit too late, so let's go, uh, see if we can wake them up a bit. I believe that is going to be this house up here. 
That's you, right? Uh, Elizabeth and Abraham. They were the two fellowship officials that were here. They only stayed for a minute or two. I have no idea where they are now. Alrighty, um... Bye. That, uh... Doesn't help me much. Now she's a miner. Ah, this is probably who I need to talk to. Um, whoever lives there. I do not remember who that is. <laughs> I do not remember where they are, or their house is. Uh, not there. Um, I don't think it would be this guy. Wake you up. Oops. Get, get, ah. Don't go back, don't go back to, don't go back to, no, 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 no. Didn't mean to sleep. There we go. No, nope, that's Blorn. Ew, I feel dirty. I, I almost slept in Blorn's bed. That's not him. Shoot. Are there any other houses down here? No, that leads to the gargoyle section of town. Alright, well, when in doubt... Let's see what time is it now. Uh, 4.48 a.m. I'm gonna go with five hours. Hmm, not here. Alright, well, people are complaining about being hungry, including me, apparently. <laughs> so let's take care of that. I will have the ham. Uh, let's see, what crummy foods do we have laying around in here? Uh, not too many. Alright, um, have some cheese. And some bread, I suppose. Alright, spark. You have some ribs from a horse. Yeah, you do get those from a horse. Uh, you can have some mutton. Uh, Dupre, you can have some mutton. Uh, Jana, you can have some ham. Sentry, you can have some fish. And I see carrots in here, so let's give you some carrots. And Julia, have some bread. And we'll give you this cheese as well. Totally just clicked on the floor. Here, you don't mind it. It fell on the floor a little bit. It's okay, though. Alright, so no one is here. Sure, who's uh, building that? Is let me actually take a look at that ba the map. Or I mean, there's got to be someone that I'm missing. I think. I mean, I suppose I'm not, and it's uh. Yeah, there aren't any other. 
buildings. There's no bedroom there, so I think that Cadar guy that I talked to was the one that I was supposed to talk to. Yeah, alright, well, yeah, we'll just head to Moonglow. I've only been there to uh, pick up spells anyway, so uh, it is about time that we went. I think that was the Isle of Fire there. Yeah, it was. Alright. Well, we'll start with the Lycaeum. Let's see. Good place to park. Park right about here. I guess we'll start up here. Since we're up here. Uh, first of all... Hey! Let's replenish our food stores a little bit. There we go. Anything else to loot before we talk to the guy? Uh, let's see. Anything? There's a roll. I don't care about the roll. <laughs> let's rock the little baby. Excuse me. You see a man with a sour expression on his face holding a baby boy. Uh, the baby boy was in the basket. It's in the, um, the cradle up there. As he sees you, his face brightens. Uh, name? I am Ephraim, lady. I am but a simple resident of Moonglow. What is thy name? Uh, I... <laughs> Milady! <laughs> Elmandretta. Hello, Elmandretta. He turns to the baby. Say hello to Elmandretta, Mikhail. I, I, I don't think he can speak yet. Yeah, you might need to refresh your memory on exactly what age babies start speaking. Oh, there's a uh, chest of drawers right there. I missed that. Mikhail. That is a good name. That is the name of my son. Tis a good name, yes? I guess. Moonglow? What about Moonglow? He shrugs. Tis a fair town, but a little too crowded these days. There's a whole friggin' island, and the it's mostly a uh, uh, forest. What are you talking about, too crowded? Yeesh. Here was much. It was a much nicer place back when Moonglow was separate from the Lycaeum. Much smaller. This place is too large to really get to know anyone. There's what, like, a dozen people here? Come on, give me a break. Yeah, I'm looking at the map right now. They Every building is separated by a substantial amount of space. It's rather amusing. Or almost every building, I should say. Not that I've had much of an opportunity having to stay at home and take care of my son. He looks down at the boy, smiles, and tickles the baby's nose. This is not a job for a man. My wife should be home with the boy, not me. I should be out le earning a living. Oh, that's backwards of you. There's nothing wrong with a man staying home to take care of the baby especially if the uh, wife happens to make more money than he does, and has a greater potential for making money than he does. Admittedly, that's a little bit uncommon. That is what I ought to be doing. Uh, who is your wife, anyway? My wife? Jillian? She's a scholar. She's a very good one, too. Not that I could have done well. I could have. Better, in fact. But it is not worth arguing about now. She has her occupation, even if I do not have one. I should have a job, though. Dost thou not agree, milady? This is not what a man ought to be doing. Staying at home raising the children like this. Tis a disgrace. He begins to stroke the infant's small tuft of hair. It doesn't give me an opportunity to, to disagree with him? Damn it. Ah, uh, leave me alone. Leaving so soon? Fine, leave me with the baby. Go on, leave me, just like my wife. I don't think your wife actually left you, sir. Man. What a jerk. Makes you wonder what, uh, um, uh, the wife sees in him. Huh. That door is locked. Um, we don't need to deal with that now, and I don't feel like translating it. That is something for later. I have been in here, um... Not to do much. Certainly nothing there. Alright, we'll talk to this lady spinning the wheel. At your approach, the woman raises her eyebrows to indicate she's aware of your presence and interested in what you are about to say. Oh, really? Well, I have some great magazines to sell you. Name? I am Carlin. She smiles broadly. I am the tailor of Moonglow. Uh, tell me about being a tailor. 
Yes, I love sewing clothing. Wouldst thou be interested in seeing or purchasing some of my creations? Uh, sure. Do you have any cloth? What article wouldst thou like to buy? Uh, heavy cloak, tunic, pants, dress, hood. Uh, nothing. Fine. Uh, tell me about Moonglow. Tis a very pleasant town, my lady. There are so many different types of people here. I wish I knew more of them. If thou hast any questions about them, I highly recommend to thee that thou speakest with Fiercy. Uh, who's Fiercy? He is the owner and bartender. Every night at nine he goes to the fellowship meeting, so I serve refreshment for him at the friendly nave. Uh, what do you know about the fellowship? I know little about the group. Every night at nine they have a meeting, or some such of all the members. And if I remember correctly, the leader of that branch doth give a speech. A sermon is what I believe it is called. There is another member in town, if thou hast questions about the fellowship. Another? I believe his name is Ptolemac. He is a farmer, from what I have heard. Fiercy would know more than I. Wait, so you're, you're telling me that there are... Okay, so that would make three people? And I suppose the leader, so that's four people. Four people in town, and they have a fellowship branch. That's crazy. Uh, who is their leader? His name is Rankin. I do not believe he has been here terribly long. Uh, no relation to the uh, um, guy who made animation, of course. Uh, clerk? Tis a woman, I know that, but I do not know her name. All right, uh, goodbye. Fare thee well, my lady. All righty, well, um, here would be the Fellowship Hall, uh, and I think we will investigate that in the next episode, along with uh, actually visiting the Lycaeum uh, for real, uh, more than just to buy spells from uh, Maria. So we shall see you all in the next episode. See you then.